I remember like close to a year ago, these two was on top of the world. Both of them had got out rapping. Both of them seemed to be doing good. And they passed really caught up with them. One only be gone for another year. The other one uh, may be gone a lot longer. Seeing as how he got caught, you know, with guns. Moral of the story is, y'all, in the streets, you're going to either end up in one or two places. Or three places. Either jail, hell, or disabled. In a wheelchair somewhere. But it disqualifies you from street activity. Still got guys who get shot and end up in a wheelchair and still try to be out in the streets. But at the end of the day, if you can't walk, your street life is really over. What a motherfucker gonna do? Roll you to do a hit? Gang banging out of wheelchair is crazy. I said that to say this. A lot of the stuff that we do when we younger, man, we don't think about the possible results in the future. We think nothing about the future. And realistically, the future is all that matters. Because when you hit a certain age, it's not about you no more. It's about them kids. It's about, you know, your baby mama or your wife. It's about what could you do to make your mother's life better. The one that brought you into this world. The one that you've been given grief ever since you've been here. That's what it's about when you get to a certain age. It's not about you no more. Especially as a man. When you get caught up in a prison system, it's like depending on how much time you got, they'll forever have that hold on you. You know, they'll have that hold on you until your time is over with and you served your debt to society. And most of the time, that debt to society ends up being overpaid because you end up being over sentenced. So let this be a perfect example of why you shouldn't even get involved with that. Let me be a perfect example why you shouldn't get involved with that. Got out of prison, stayed out five years and end up going back to prison for a gram and a half of weed, that just goes to show you, man, this shit is bigger than Eno Brown. This shit is bigger than what meets the eye. One was pushing peace. The other was, you know, a little rough around the edges. He was coming around. He just forgot this wasn't 2012 no more. Either way, both of them back locked up. It's going to be at least a year before we see either one of them after they was doing so good. And I could definitely bear witness to a year is enough time to slow down all progression. Before I got locked up, my channel was going crazy, you know? Now I'm basically having to rebuild it. Shout out to my day ones, you know? Y'all shorties out there, stay out the way, man. And don't get these felonies on y'all record. Plus these days, it's a lot easier to do something legal and get your money. And that's what it's about, man. You know, it's about money, man. It's about having that tool that you need to get through life, man. If you got kids, guess what? Shorty can't eat no bullets, man. Shorty can't eat no reputation from doing hits. When you come off that hit, you still got a pocket full of lint. And you can take that shit to the bank and cash the check. It's your boy SNTV. I'm out.